Hi, this is Mary from Open Helix with this week's Tip of the Week. If you're seeing this tip someplace else, be sure to come back by our blog at blog.openhelix.com for additional details. I'll provide links to the resource that I'm talking about today, links to the publication, and so on. So check us out at blog.openhelix.com. Today's tip actually began as a question at Biostar. Biostar is a terrific community for people who are interested in bioinformatics to ask and answer questions about things that they might be looking for, ways to accomplish certain tasks, or maybe to find new resources that they didn't know about. And that's what happened in this particular question. So the person who posted this question here, list of transcription factors and transcription factor binding sites from non-model species, was asking about information that was not just human and mouse and all, some of the other big model organisms. And one of the answers was the Animal Transcription Factor Database. And I'd seen this another time, too, on, at Biostar, so I really I decided it was time to check that out. More and more, as we get whole genome sequencing information from a lot of different projects, we're going to need to be categorizing that, organizing that, and pre presenting that for people. And one of the ways to do that is um, to create a database like the folks at Animal TFDB have done. So the Animal Transcription Factor Database their goal was to collect and curate information from a wide range of species, not just the big model organisms. And what they did in their first paper that they published about this, they say that they have curated 72 transcription factor families, so dozens of transcription factor families, and you can browse those by families here. And they also categorized by species, and they have over 50 different species, animal species, in this collection at this point. So that's a nice wide collection, much wider than a lot of other places that you might see. And what they've done is they've created detailed annotations for each transcription factor with a, a number of different categories. And they also collected and annotated information about cofactors and chromatin remodeling factors as well. It's got a couple of different components here, and there are multiple ways to start to interact with that. So one of the things you can do is you can just browse by family. So if you click on the link for browse by family here, you can access the details for all of these different family groups. And if you just click on one of them, I'll just click on one of them here. You can see here it is broken out by the species. And if we go take a look at one of those, just as an example, we're going to take a look at this one. You'll find that it's linked, and there'll be information here about the, the family. You can go back to the top, the home page at the top, and we can go about this another way. We can browse by species. So if you click the image here, you then would have access to all the different species broken out here. You can click the individual species from the page here. Or you can go open them up from the menu on the side here, and you can choose birds and reptiles. We'll try that here. And there we go. We see the other way to access that. Now if you go in and choose one of these to take a look at, you'll see the ensemble IDs for this. And you'll have more details about that as well. Another thing you can do is you can do a, a typical search. So there's a search mechanism here. And there's a sample search that's provided for you, so you could choose to do that. But you could search in more detail as well with some of these other options that are down below. So you could really refine this if you were interested in some specific things. I'll just click this search button with the sample search here that's provided. Click that ensemble ID. And this takes me to the record that contains all that curated information that's available about this particular transcription factor. Transcript IDs are available here. Gene structure for the ones that are available here functional domains, and you can click to the domain information here. So here you've got the domain information at PFAM. This gene ontology terms that will help you to understand the functions that have been categorized for this, and you can learn about the evidence codes that were provided by that. So some of them will be predicted, and some of them will be actual experiments. Protein-protein interaction information, if that's available, ortholog groups, cross-references in other databases, and more. So. They have collected and curated a large number of transcription factor binding data sets from a wide range of species. Let me just go back to the home page and review that again. That you can browse by family, browse by species, or perform quite detailed searches with the search mechanism that I showed, the search form. You can download the information from various species as well. And there's other ways to learn more about this database as well. So I encourage you to check out their paper. Check out the paper that's available that describes what they were doing here. And you can also find out more about it from their help section. So check it out, the Animal Transcription Factor Database, for information about a lot of species that includes not model organism species. Thanks very much for your time.